Uh, my name is Tim Kelly. I am a partner at the law firm of Fitzpatrick, Cella, Harper & Sinto in New York. Uh, I practice intellectual property law. Uh, I focus on both patents and trademarks, although my specialty is, is typically trademarks. Uh, but we do all facets of intellectual property, uh, including licensing and transactional work, litigation, uh, prosecution, etc. My role on the IP committee has, has really been, uh, I think, as sort of a initial leader. I mean, I was sort of one of the first group people involved in the group early on, and I think the goal has really been to try and focus. Uh, a group of individuals who practice IP from around the world, <clears throat> get them together and get them to a point where they are familiar enough with each other, they have um, uh, very uh, common interests in terms of intellectual property, and the idea of course is to help hopefully work together uh, and broaden each other's involvement with the work that we do for our clients in different countries around the world. Sure, I think it's one of the most important things about this group, uh, the Inter uh, International Referral Group, has been involvement in the conferences and, and getting to meet people face to face. Uh, I, I think the concept is a great concept in and of itself, but the thing that really takes it to the next level is the interaction with other members and meeting the members at the various conferences and participating with them because that's really the way you develop the relationship. Uh, that you need in order to have a trust in someone and to send a client who you value to somebody in another country who you may or may not be familiar with. But when you start meeting them at conferences like this and you interact with them on a, on a repeated basis at, over a number of years, it really becomes a situation where you get to know and trust the other individual. So yeah, it's, it's absolutely important to be uh, active as opposed to just sort of a passive member who shows up once in a while. I, I don't think you're going to get the benefit. at least one or two of the mid-year type meetings that, that IR has. I've been able to meet and, and develop relationships with different members of uh, the intellectual property community as they uh, are participating in the IR group. And as a result of that, uh, I've been in a position to be able to send work uh, from my clients in the United States to, cl to firms and attorneys that I've met here in different parts of the world, uh, including MDP in Australia, um, also um, Ursula, sorry, I don't, I don't know her firm name. <laughs> uh, Trala Hitchcock. Trala Hitchcock uh, in, in uh, Switzerland. Yeah. Sorry. Um, uh, and Hans Christian's firm in, in uh, Germany. Uh, it, it, both sending work and they have sent work back to me. So it's really, um, the, to me, it's, it's exactly what the group is supposed to be about. Uh, there's been both outgoing work and incoming work, and, and that's really the way that relationships develop and, and grow. Part of the problem with INTA is, is that it's so big that it's difficult to really get uh, time to focus on on people. So one of the things that was good was to have a group of folks that we knew, that I knew, from IR and knew that they were coming through the connections that IR was able to, to send out, uh, who was coming to the, to the uh, INTA conference, when they were going to be there, and in addition we were able to connect with them on our own, I was anyway, and in addition to that, meeting at the drinks reception. It, it was nice to have a group of uh, uh, IR attorneys who I had met at other functions sort of be in one place amongst the 5,000 or 6,000 other folks that ended up at, at the INTA conference. So yeah, it was, it was definitely, but it really was the coordination of IR and, and the folks behind the scenes to make sure that people knew uh, who was going to be at INTA and, and when they were going to be there and sort of to get us together. Um, so that was very helpful. So in terms of um, identifying firms and, and partners in other parts of the world, 
Uh, obviously, the IR website has been extremely helpful. Um, in addition to meeting the people, I obviously haven't met people from every single jurisdiction where my clients necessarily have work. Um, and so what I've been able to do is, through the folks that I have met and through the IR website, have been able to coordinate um, both uh, work that my clients need done in different parts of the world, even when I haven't had an opportunity to meet somebody or where there may not be a, a particular IR member. I'm um, going through the website, talking to uh, the folks at IR. I've been able to coordinate uh, sort of referral firms through the firms that I know and trust as a result of the work that I've done with them and the interactions I've had with them at the meetings in the past. You know, I think this, this group started um, small, has grown significantly, which I think is a good thing. But I think it's really a testament to the enthusiasm that Tom and Ross have had from day one. And it really, I have a, whenever people call me and say, you know, how is IR? What's IR about? Is it worth joining, et cetera? You know, my initial reaction is, you know, Tom and Ross are extremely, and the other folks at IR are extremely um, enthusiastic, they, they have a great idea and they're really running with it. But I think the thing that's sort of changed over the past couple of years, maybe the past year and a half, is that that enthusiasm has become contagious and, and there are other folks who have really started to pick up on it. And so it's not just Tom and Ross and his team that or their team that is behind this. It's sort of everybody else spreading and it's like wildfire, I think. It, it's really been a, a good thing and it's and that's to me, a testament of the interactions that folks have when they come to meetings like this.